welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about home time and clean up any myths about home time so let's just get right into it it is no rules to home time so what that means is it's no amount of time you're supposed to spend on the road to get you home time so if anybody try to convince you of that it's a certain amount of time you got to stay on the road to get a certain amount of days off that is wrong you can come home anytime you put in a request now i will tell you depending on if you work for a big company you have a driver leader and your driver leader is gonna have his own pet peeve about home time so they might try to tell you know stay out three weeks get one week off i mean to stay out three weeks and you can take a day per week that's kind of how I started out. I did. I stayed out three weeks, and then I took a day off. That's kind of how I did. Then also, let me give you this. If you really want a lot of home time on, the, the, the routes dedicated and reasonable would be the most home time as far as weekly. So if you do, if you do dedicated, Dedicated can sometimes get you home every other day, depending on the dedicated route. And then if you do regional, regional will get you home at least twice a week. You know what I'm saying? With most times being the weekend that you'll be back. So you can look into that. But right off the back, I will tell you, tell your wife, tell your girlfriend, or tell your husband, tell your boyfriend, that you need to, you about to lock in for a whole year. You about to lock in for a whole year to learn the skills you need to learn to make money for the next 15, 20, 30 years. Cause that's what it's gonna require. If you keep going home, just with this home time, what I found out when, when I first started, every time I went home, when I came back on the road, it felt a little new, like I was doing some stuff new because just getting into trucking, you haven't developed those muscle memories yet. You don't have a muscle memory like drivers that's been out here for years. So I would tell you, once you get a, go solo, to stay stay on the road for a little while so that you can start building up your muscle memory. That way when you do go home, it don't be brand new. Because I'm going to tell you, even when I went home and got back in my car, it felt weird to drive a regular car after getting off the truck. It felt weird because your body got adjusted and then eventually it'll feel normal driving your truck and driving your car. But that's what I'm saying. So I'm going to tell you, most people don't try to be honest, but I'm going to be honest with you. If you already, when you get in trucking and you already be thinking about home time, you already setting yourself up for failure. If you thinking about home time now. You shouldn't even be thinking about home time. You should be thinking, could I make this work? Could I actually be on this road and drive this vehicle safe? You know what I'm saying? That's what your mind should be on. Because most people I know that that start out and already talking about home time, they no longer with the company because they quit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the truth of it. If you already thinking about going home, you gonna go your butt home. That's what's gonna happen. You gonna go your butt home if you already thinking about going home. You know, like home time. But also, just to add on to the home time, you can you can almost take off all holidays too. You know what I'm saying? So if you a person that's looking looking into having holidays off, yeah, you can have it because when I first started. My home time kind of failed on a holiday all the time for some reason. I don't know how it happened, but my home time always fell around. I, well, now let's not let me just be honest. I request my home time around. <laughs> that was I worked. I stayed out until the holiday came up, and then went back went home around the holiday. That's what I did. Yeah, I'm saying so. Yeah, so just to let you know about it, when you put your when you put your home time in. It automatically get approved. You're not like waiting on somebody to approve your your home time. Once you put it in and let them know where you want to be, where and where you want to be. Now, 
let me add this to that. You can take home time anywhere in the country. So if you want to take some home time in Vegas and pop, they got a nice truck stop in Vegas where you can park your truck and you can Uber to the strip. So you can take your home time in Vegas. You can tell them, hey, I want to load to, I want to take home time in Vegas. They can give you a load to Vegas. So also understand that too. You can take home time wherever. You can put it in. The only thing you're going to have to put in is the zip code to where you want to be. And they're going to get you there. Now, also understand that you always got to put home time in the day before you need that day off. Because at least at Swift, they got all the way up to 1159 of the day that you put in to actually release you to go home. So, you want to always put your home time in the day before. Want to make sure you put that home time in the day before to make sure you get the day you need off. But that's one of the cool, just to piggyback, that's one of the cool thing about hometown, you can take home time all over the country. So if you wanna go see some other sites and see some other places, they can get you a load, that when you over the road, they can get you a load going in that direction. You would take a few days, four days off in that place you want to, you always want to travel to. You know what I'm saying? So you can do that with home time. But just like I said, when you first starting out, man, you gotta lock in and learn these skills. You gotta lock in and learn these skills. I don't claim to be the best backer. I don't claim to be the best driver. But what I tell you, I'm 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 out here to be. I'm the I'm trying to be the safest out here. I'm trying to be the safest out here. And plus, for any other driver, for my veteran drivers, I'm gonna let you know. Swift trucks only can go 65 miles per hour. Just so y'all know, so y'all don't hunk at us when we going slow and you think we trying to go slow. We ain't trying to go slow. We can only go slow. Just to add that in there. So just for my veteran drivers, Swift, we only go 65 miles per hour. We travel the road at 60 miles 65 miles per hour. That's the fastest we can go. We can't go no faster than that. Just to throw that in there. Just to throw that in there. But just to get back on the home tag, you know what I'm saying? Home time is what you make. Don't let nobody tell you you can go home whenever you feel like. You got an emergency home. Um, your kids acting up. You got to get back home. You can put in a request. Then reroute your butt back home. You got a family emergency or something, you don't have to let nobody, you don't even have to, and with home time, you don't have to let them know what, what you coming home for. You just put the home time in. That's it, just put it in. That's all you gotta do. But, that's it. If y'all can think of any questions for me, just put it down in the comments. Also, any veteran drivers, if you got anything to add, you know, to the conversation added into the comments. I'm out. You guys have a great day.